Hey everybody, it's Natalie from Spare Bedroom Studios. Actually, we're broadcasting again from my dining room. I'm gonna walk you through some stretching, which is a great way to cool down after exercise. So for this, you will need a chair and you wanna have it in front of you. I'm gonna leave mine off to the side for the first couple of stretches so that you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna start with a calf stretch. So take your left foot out front, the right foot behind you. Make sure that right heel is pressed firmly into the floor and stays that way. Keep your right knee straight, bend your left knee, shift your weight forward. Now, if you would like to add a shoulder stretch and you feel comfortable with your balance and letting go of your chair, then let go now and bring a straight right arm across the front of your body. Bring your left arm up from underneath to hook your right arm and then use that left arm to pull your right arm a little closer to your chest. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, bring the arms down. We're going to switch to the other side. I want you to take the right foot out front this time, the left foot behind you. Press that left heel into the floor. Bend your right knee, shift your weight forward. If you want to add a shoulder stretch, bring a straight left arm across your, across your body. Right arm comes up from underneath, hooks it, and pulls it a little closer to your chest. Now check out your left shoulder. If you see that your shoulder is creeping up towards your shoulder, or your ear rather, I want you to make an effort to pull it down. Breathe in deeply through the nose, exhale through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, the purpose of the cool down is to transition our body from exercise back to rest. And we're giving it a window of time where we're doing some light movement to make that happen. Okay, bring your arm down, come on up out of that stretch. We are gonna do all of the remaining stretches seated. So I'm gonna bring my chair into the center here. You can come around and take a seat in yours. Sit closer to the front of the chair than the back. You want some space behind you. Sit up nice and straight. We're gonna start with a glute stretch. Bring one knee up towards your chest. Now you can hold behind your thigh like this. You can hold on the front of your shin, whatever's comfortable for you. Sit up nice and straight and tall. We're going to circle the ankle around. Keep taking nice deep breaths. Change the direction of those ankle circles. Now don't forget that you're doing the glute stretch, so make sure you are keeping that knee drawn in close to the body. All right, we're gonna point and flex the foot. All right, hold that foot flex. We are going to extend the leg out straight. I have my heel on the floor, my toe is pointed up toward the ceiling. I'm sitting up nice and straight and tall, my knee is straight. I'm gonna reach my arms up toward the ceiling, elongating my trunk as I do that, and I'm going to hinge forward from the hips, not bend from the waist. I'm gonna stop when I feel a pulling sensation in my hamstring that is just light and I'm going to stop there. So our goal for this stretch is to stretch the hamstring muscle. It is not necessarily to be able to touch your toe. So if you make touching your toe your goal and you accomplish that goal by letting your knee bend and curving your spine, then you're not really stretching the hamstring muscle. So if you find yourself in this position, let go of your heat or your toe and back up. Straighten your knee and then hinge forward again and stop when you feel the stretch in your hamstring start. And then just hold there. Easy. Okay, we're gonna stretch the hip. I want you to sit back. If you can bring your ankle all the way up to your knee, I'd like you to do that. But if that is too much rotation for your hip, then your alternate is to keep that right leg straight and just cross the lower leg, cross your left ankle over your lower right leg. So take whatever version works for you. Now keeping that knee down, don't let it come closer to your body, keep it down. If you want more stretch for your hip joint, then you can hinge forward from the hip as if you're trying to touch your chest. 
to your lower leg here. standing leg here you want your ankle below your knee so if you are like this you're not getting the most hip stretch you can get so realign your foot so that your lower leg is straight up and down
thanks for stretching with me and um, I hope you are enjoying the videos. I've been enjoying the Zoom calls and I really look forward to the day when all of us can get back together in person in the gym. But until that happens, I'm gonna keep putting these videos on YouTube. It'll be some exercise videos, some educational videos, so I will continue to email you links to those. As always, if you have any questions about what you saw in this video or anything at all, you can put a comment uh, on this video. You can email me, call me. Uh, remember that we want to continue to be resources for you until we are all back together and uh, exercising as a group.